At 28 by 36 inches, this power-packed oil fills the eye in every way and shows Roderick O'Connor at his very best. He manages to capture not just the power of the sea, but the feeling that you're standing on the shore, as I'm sure he was when he painted it. One can almost feel the spray and hear the din of the crashing waves. It truly demands your attention. Subtle colour changes are all over the picture. The green and blue of the sea, the yellow of the sun and this wonderful fauvous purple and pink throughout the dominant sky. It's almost orchestral, with Roderick O'Connor as the conductor, treating us to all his painterly skills. Purchased out of the Drouot sale in Paris in 1956, the breaking wave has been in a family collection ever since. It was painted in Brittany at the end of the 1890s, when O'Connor was at the height of his powers, a true modernist, always trying, and ahead of the Fauvist artists Matisse and Duran. Henry Rowland of famous London art dealers Rowland Browse and Del Banco, who helped to rediscover O'Connor, commented that Roderick O'Connor was indeed a Fauve before the Fauves. It's an honour to offer this rediscovered work, and it adorns the front cover of our catalogue.